Hello and welcome back to Pillars 2. And we got a big day ahead of us. We possibly gonna get a job from the Valiant Trading Company. And uh, we also... Well, we, we need to go back to the guys. Uh, I suppose talk to some Principi about that. We are not gonna kick out the sailors from the Wild Mare. I just didn't kick out the sailors and I kind of want this uh, mission to be concluded. And apparently uh, we get a little bit of clue... Uh, about this pirate gang that mugged Medora in the back alley. So, guys, can you give me any tips? Apretta, what do you, want? you know anything about the local pirates hassling Zamar? Ak, if they are the same ones who robbed Radora blind. She drags her threadbare sleeve across her nose. The boss and his wolf sleep their fun off by day. But by night, he and his bozzo friends keep to the alley giving out bruises for coin. Ah, thanks. So, bruises for coin. So we gotta wait uh, till night. Wait, what? Midnight? Dusk? Let's wait midnight. Whatever, we're gonna go with that. Are they here? Where are they? Oh, I like that the... The city changes. Oh, we got him. In what he calls that trick, and he says the Consueli. It could be hard to uh, get some information. Like, I just don't know. Like, hey, go to Queen Birth, find something. Okay, but like, you got no leads. A lot of a lot of times, the pe people don't talk. Okay, Koda, let's talk. You the one causing trouble in Cotter's neighborhood. Yeah. Where am I? The wolf at this man's side raises her hackles and growls. He shushes and pats her behind the ears, all the while keeping his focus trained on you. I thought Remaro's pup kept better company. Oh boy. Well, you thought wrong. Oh, a friend. So you still be doing that old referring yourself by name thing? Would have thought it'd have cost you enough lays by now to be dropping that affectation. <laughs> Carter has not missed the sound of your voice, Seraphine. Your smoke and mirror ghosts do not impress Kalezia, and they do not scare Carter. Oh, a, a line of drool, drool drips down between the wolf's bare teeth. Sorry, Valian names all sound the same to me. Which one is the pretty wolf? You'll know soon enough. Watcher finds them amusing, which is enough for Watcher. <laughs> Carter likes you already. Yeah? What do you want? He tugs on his wolf's scruff and drags her back to his side. Any chance you are the one shaking down Zamar? Zamar has money problems. Carter has solutions. The little man doesn't know how to count his coins. Carter heard a newcomer was talking with Zamar. His free hand moves toward the weapon slung on his belt. Wrong play, Carter. Let's be keeping this the friendliest of friendly fucking chats. Lest the captain be calling your raise. <laughs> Look, Celezia. Your supper comes with blue fur. He nudges the wolf. Eliciting a deep growl. Tell the shipwright to accept Cotter's deal before he suffers another setback. <sighs> Why are you shaking down Zamar? Just give Captain Rador his money and I'll leave you alone. Tell me the business again, I'll... I don't want to intimidate you. How about I stick your hide into the... <laughs> into cell cloth? Seletia, the throat! Why don't you just kill them all? Oh, what? Are you using a ranged weapon? Don't do that. Should I intimidate them all? Would it work? Uh, can you just save me? Salty, save me! Terrify them! They're terrified! Were they terrified before? Oh, they are definitely terrified now. Yeah. Rest in peace, Prince of Peace. Um, yeah, that's kind of garbage. Uh, 
Oh, that's stealing. It doesn't matter. No one can see us. What the hell is that? Someone here? That doesn't matter. Let's go. So, we might want to wait till... Till morning now. Midday? What? Yeah, what, what? let's wait till morning. Not the most efficient way to do things, but hey. Uh, it is uh, the only way to find these uh, rough scallions. So, we can go back to... Zamar. Right? Zamar is here, the ship, right? And he's gonna be like, Oh boy, you guys took care of the bandits? How about I give you my biggest ship? Right? Right, 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 right. Zamar. Ahoy there. Any news worth telling? The Principi won't be bothering you anymore. They were Principi too? Damn, Principi are all around jerks. Best news I've heard since I arrived on this rock. Zamar lowers his hands. They shake like they don't know where to go next. They go back up to his beard, this time less frenzied. What of Captain Redora? Zamar pulls the end of his uh, mustache taut. Has she sobered up yet? Or do we need to shake her by her ankles? She was robbed. Don't hold it, hold it against her. She said that I should help myself to her commission. Yeah. yeah exactly. Did she now? <laughs> Zamar smooths down some of his nostril hair so they blend in with the rest of his mustache. Matters being what they are, Redora's commission is yours if you can afford it. What? Zamar smooths down his mustache and dislodges a small puff of sawdust. I might be interested in buying Rodor's commission. That'll be the Iron Thunderer. A cannon well deserved of her name. Zamar beams with pride. Maybe she doesn't stand up to Rawatai standards, but she's got heart. Same could be said of the Wahaki tribe, and look what happened to them. <sighs> That's pretty unrelated, Maya. Grinning Maya winks down at Ishiza. Sparring a sharp glare at Maya, Zamar turns his focus over to you. For a thousand pyres, she'll crack a hull, scour a sail, or splinter a deck like an imp with something to prove. But your friend's mouth has raised the price by 500. I don't have that kind of coin. More is the pity. Come back when you do. I like to see your goods. Uh, come take a look. I don't care. I truly don't care. Some cannon? That's not a high roll. Okay. Uh, what do we need to do? I think we need to go into the Valian. Oh, I kind of want to pop into the Principi and say like, Hey, what's up, guys? Long time no see. We're friends, right? And uh, they probably not going to say that we're friends. Who knows? You never know. You never know unless you ask. So... At one point, I did indeed murder some of them, like, like one or two, maybe an entire floor worth of uh, Valian guys. I snuck in, snuck in at night, unknowingly. So, and they just attacked me. So, how how could I even uh, know that I was in the wrong place? Or so Valera? Let the Bardatos be an example for others. Bardatos. Okay, I can just kill you guys as well. I don't think at this point I'm just making f uh, friends with the Principi. <laughs> oh, it's a bit unfortunate that I suppose... Uh, uh, we, well, didn't do all the quests, but like these games are not really meant to be that played that way, that you just do all the quests, or do all the quests right, because there are many ways to do the quests or not do the quests. Okay, Atalo Valera. Ado, what brings? Skillfully done. I remember my friends. Be sure of that. So seems like unless we just uh, attack the sailors uh, near the wild mare, uh, they are not gonna further interact with me. And I don't have the option that uh, I should just like. Uh, Taunt them into attacking me. Hopefully, it's not gonna turn into like a, a complete fight. I don't know. It, it could be too much. I don't know.
We really don't know. We can go to the Bardato as well. Did I miss anything in the Bardato estate? I just... Just double check. Maybe someone is living here. And we gotta kill them too. This could be... Um... The place where a bunch of... Uh, people from the Goulette move in. So, how about that? Or this could be just my estate. This could be the Watcher estate. And I might just expand it to the other estate uh, right uh, next to me. Wait, what? who are you? Bolera Guard? Do you want to die? Uh, don't you even care? Wait, what? Who the hell you are? Help! A monster! Hey, there's a monster inside there. Got someone in my sight. It's all about... Zali Bardato. Damn. Yeah. You guys are welcome. I can't help but feel that this is somehow related to the story of uh Why am I so bad with names? A lot? A lot. I'm pretty sure it's a lot. The elf wood elf wizard. What have we here? I don't be supposed easy breezy. Okay, we managed to spot that. They they actually didn't refer to me as the monster. I, I somebody expected them to that, that they were afraid of me, but no. And she just got killed. We really know nothing here. <laughs> I can't help but feel but like I definitely want to uh, go for a playthrough as well. We're gonna take all the uh, well story characters that we didn't take this time uh, on the run. I think we didn't uh, explore quite everything, but we should be in a lot better spot right now. Hey guys, what's up? Shooter. Why you not be fine? What is this? Garbage. What else we got? Be fat and fat. Easy breezy. Garbage. This is spot. what you guys are hiding in here? Okay. Is it garbage? Like, these things obviously need to be further improved. But what kind of uh, melee accuracy, trusting, flurry, attack speed? Oh, this is actually very interesting. Accuracy and attack speed? No, th those are always valuable uh, qualities. Why, why is the damage so low? Is it, uh, is it really so bad? Uh, look at that. This is a one-handed Warhammer. Attack time instant. Attack time instant again. This is like 15.5 uh, average damage every 3 seconds. Uh, this is like 30 average damage every 4 seconds. Like, that's a huge difference. Attacks with this weapon are very loud. 100% damage to destructibles. Only to destructibles? Okay. 50% chance to random mind affliction for 12 seconds on target on scoring. Destructibles? Uh, yeah, that, okay, that Warhammer is just, uh, Unnaturally uh, strong, right? Let's see about this rapier. Uh, 17 to 23, and the one we found right now is 14 to 19. I don't get it. Why so weak? It's not that weak, I suppose. Yeah, this is a lot better upgrade on it. But how how much would it cost me to enchant it? We need to we would need to enchant it twice, actually. We will need to enchant it to superb first, I, I assume. Uh, this is legendary. And the superb needs to be... Uh, we need to find an, an item that's... Superb. Can we enchant it to legendary? Yeah, 60,000. Which is just... Insane. That's just so much. So, that's not gonna be uh, relevant for a long, long time. Still, we did complete the heist. I can kill more Principi if you want to. We put a ghost to rest, and um, I can't help but feel but that a lot might have uh, something to say about that. 
but currently it's not gonna be relevant. So let's go to Queen's Birth and after that we're gonna go to the Valiant Trading Company headquarters and uh, see what the hell they are up to. Alright. I know that we're not exactly the best as buddies with the Valiant Trading Company. And by saying that, I might be understating it. They kind of hate me. What are the Principi? Do they hate me too? I'm not sure what to make of that. It went down, then it seems like it's there, but I don't know what the purple free means. Apparently we are making uh, no, friends with the Principi somewhat. The white flood. Ishii can purge his whole intestine at once if he's feeling ornery. The bueno. Alright, we gotta go in. It, so it does matter that uh, we are uh, exploring the city at uh, night or, or day. And the uh, Wailing Training Company, I'm not sure if they're gonna give me any missions. But if they're actually gonna be difficult, I'm just gonna kill them all. How about that? We do have that option. It's like, hey, what's up? I heard about the... Uh, Somewhat questionable deal. Hey, Luca. This room's typhus already. Must you crowd it further? I spoke with Tavano outside. You have a claim on his tribe's land? Ak, a lawful claim, I might add. No matter what the native says to the contrary. He showed up with a forged contract. As if I wouldn't know the difference between our paperwork and theirs. He gestures dismissively out the door. Tavano is lucky. I only seized the forgery. The Galad is too good for his kind. You wanna die? Tavana didn't mention a fortune. I'm trying to spare you a headache by getting this sad native off the streets. Why is that cruel? I'm just pretending to be on his side. There must be some agreeable way to sort out Tavana's problem. Your villager friend would do well not to stand between the company and our prize. The company is allowed to solve problems as we see fit. And right now, Taweno is a problem. Besides, lying is second nature to the Ranga heir and his ignorant cliente. I'll make sure Taweno sees reason. What is the purpose behind such a contract? How much would it cost you to lose uh, the original contract? We are taking. We are talking about. The do up a home homeland. This isn't right. This is the homeland they signed away for money, Ak. I can almost guarantee the company will put it to more dignified use. Keep negotiating like this, and you'll drive the Juana into the arms of the Royal Deathfire Company. Are we feeling honest today, or did you eat some fermented corpse fruit? But breaking a contract for diplomacy's sake is simply not done. Would you prefer to reason with my fist? His uh, gaze darts to the office guards, but something stops him from calling out. 20 strength. Try it, Luca. See what happens. I don't want to intimidate him, I'm going to kill him. <laughs> He opens his mouth and utters a fearful squeak, but promptly silences himself when he takes another look at you. Aha! I'm sure you misheard me. What's one contract? My elbow knocked over an inkwell and the terms are forever obscured. No great loss. Nothing we can get recompensed elsewhere. He clears his throat and makes a poor attempt at a congenious smile. Is that it? I'll be lucky if Governor Alvari lets me manage the kitchen. Much less another contract of value. Hmm. Louva uh, Avari. Hmm, interesting. Well, that, that's okay. Well, I know this in game, but like. 
him being a jerk kind of justifies me being a jerk. And that's kind of how, oh, 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 well, it's not really how it, it starts, but like, come on. Welcome back. I don't know. Is there something else you wish to discuss? I didn't really wanna wanted to go out of my way to be diplomatic about the situation. Are you in charge here? An interesting question. What the fuck? That's a really stupid answer. Maybe interesting if you're retarded. Governor Alvari's mouth twists in a rueful smile. Director Castor concerns himself with the business of the Valian Trading Company as a whole. He must coordinate our operations across the entire region. Okay. Um, so you're saying Castol is in charge? I am afraid you must deal with me for the time being. You seek work, information. These are things I can help you with. Could you tell me a little about the Valiant Trading Company? Well, the Valiant Trading Company has been here in Nekataka for many decades now. Its main interest is in the mining of Luminous Adra, for which we have negotiated with numerous tribes for access to the Adra sites and, where possible, labor. The company also engages in more mundane lines of trade, of course. Ultimately, we are merchants. Well, you're boring. I'm going. Damn. Oh, right, let's check this out. Oh, no, 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 this is the, the party. We're leaving that. Let's go to the second floor. Wow! Are you in charge? Interesting question. What the hell, woman? <sighs> let's see. So, is there anyone in here who is actually gonna give me a quest? Perhaps we are not on the best behavior. We could be. Means bird. Nah. No lockpicks. Hey guys, do you want to let me in? Uh, Oleska Sarasso. Uh, uh, just a moment. The warm woman at the desk does not yet look up. She taps at her chin with the quill in her hand. A look of furious concentration on her face. After a few moments, she scrawls something down in the ledger in front of her. There we are. So, did Alvari send you? I'm putting together the numbers. She will have to be patient. She glances up at you, distracted, then looks up again, blinking up owlishly. Well, you're no clerk. Sientere, watcher. I was preoccupied. Do not take it personally. They put me in this side office for a reason. No way. Oleska Sarasso, advisor. Did you get turned around? I have little to do with people, to be honest. Numbers, mostly. I like you. Sarasso gestures to the desk with a quick sweep of her arm. What can I do for you today, Watcher? What do you do here? Put plainly, I am an advisor to the director. I keep the books in order and offer advice on the operations of the fleet. Profits, losses, all here. Rather than pointing at a ledger, she raises a hand to tap the side of her head. I have a better head for numbers than for small talk, I'm afraid. It isn't personal. I don't take it personally. It is nice to be asked, I suppose. I hardly ever get anyone in here unless they need help with their sums. I don't see why. You probably have the most important job here. That is true, but hardly anyone says so. Well, seems like it's mostly run by self-important shady guys. Sarasa smiles, an earnest, uh, amused smile that brightens her eyes and puts color in her cheeks. I have been lucky to reach this position. I enjoy the work and it is clear that I am needed. Being useful, it is a good feeling. I'm glad you found meaning. How fares the company? I will not lie. Our fortunes dwindle. I must ask the director for some clarity on these figures. I cannot imagine why they are so low. I'm actually very happy to see... Hey, I hear that. <laughs> can I ask you some questions? I can spare a few moments. Uh, who... What do you think of Alvari? She's nice, no? A little intense, maybe. 
she gets results. Always to the letter. Who is the company? While the Songreta is away, Cantanero is the company's highest authority on the island. But he mainly concerns himself with diplomatic affairs. For the usual business, you want the director. That's all I want to know. Farewell. So, let's talk to the director. Guys, chop chop, let me in. You guys are gonna let me in? Oh crap. Oh no. Do we wanna kill everybody here? Question is, do we only kill the guards? Because if so, I'm cool with it. Do the heals. Take them all out. Some of them are charmed. See that beauty of a hit, Maya. Company guard. Hey. Don't run away. I'll let the darkness. Oh, we probably have to kill the other guy as well. We just had a accident upstairs. So help me God, I'll a bit of a misunderstanding. Fine saber, that's garbage. Sure thing. Fine. Mm. Anyone in here? So did we manage to piss him off? Is she hostile right now? Nope, she doesn't even know about it. Don't worry. I'll be, uh... Oh crap. Guys, we need to close the door. Alright, see you later. <laughs> I got rid of some dudes in the hallway. And they shouldn't be making so much noise anyway. Just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Those heavy armors, they, they do make some noise. So, okay. I'll just go outside. They killed uh, some waiting guys upstairs. See, no one seems to care. <laughs> That's totally fine. I just wanted to check out if, if the guy's at home, but apparently he's not. We gotta leave uh, some for later. Just kill him. Nice day out, isn't it? Akira, you return. I wanna What's die. Say, friend? Well, hey, chunks. Hey, Tavanu. A strange smell follows you, I say. I hope you're not unwell. Now it's just the blood of a bunch of soldiers that I killed inside. I'll tell you, Rango, that his village is safe from uh, the outsiders. Akira, I cannot believe. A light after our long sorrow. Oh, I'm so benevolent. Really, it makes the work of conquering new people look easy. Maya clucks her tongue and grins uh, to herself. Their words are poison, I say, as are yours. Ah. Oh. My village is modest, but I came prepared. I set aside a few gems for trading. They are yours by right. <laughs> what a minor negative. Seashells from natives? Isn't this quaint? Oh, come on. We can be a dick to him. Th this is all? I assume you paid for food in Nekataka? Give me whatever you have left? Hold on to it? Teaching the Valiant Trading Company a lesson was well worth the effort? Why is that... Is that just really rubs it into the Valiant Trading Company even more so? <laughs> Um, I'm actually su 
surprised. Like, that's being a bit of a jerk, I, I, I guess. Like, the last two, but I don't know why hold on to it, teaching the Valiant Trading Company lesson was well worth the effort. I think that seems good, but actually that just pisses off the Valiant Trading Company. No charge? Why is that honest? That's more like benevolent. Thank you, I accept whatever payment you have to offer. I don't care about your garbage. Uh, I taught them a lesson, okay? You are a friend of the Duape. We do not forget. You better not. Tawainu smiles, rolling his shoulder with the ease of one who stands suddenly taller. Let's be honest, he, he had literally nothing. There's no way he could fairly recompense me for my efforts. So I guess I've just had to take his friendship. So he just has to owe me one. Not... Like, whatever. Go with some gems. Well, that probably... We're not gonna see anything from that guy ever. But still. Bigger fish. Get the sailors to leave. Return to Desiral. Okay. So, we can... Stay here. Kill some guys. Waiting for the animosis to finish recalibra recalibrating their machinery. Now. Sacred Stair. We can kill someone in the Sacred Stair. Yes. And Serpent Crown. Those are bounties. Those are the two missions we have. Here that uh, are kind of relevant. I'm not sure if I'm missing anything. We probably missing some Principi missions, and uh, the Veiling Trading Company was because they just don't like us. I don't know why. I gave them a chance, but it just didn't work out. Whoa! A Principi group notices you walking and approaches you in the street. Hey guys! <laughs> Well, actually, I'm not really pissing off the Principi that much. I might just... Well, I don't know if I, I'm gonna be friends with the new Blood Principi. But I definitely like them more than the old Blood Principi. Although the old Blood Principis are... I don't know. I guess they both have uh, less bad qualities. Well, well, look what finally washed into port. You wanna fight me? Seraphim stops as the other pirates approach, his fists bald. The heat of his anger flushed your skin, then seeps beneath, shimmering your thoughts. Hold up, Cap. That be Malnaj, the High Queen Sea Devil of the Dead Fire itself, awaiting us like a shark in eight. Who? Keep calm, Seraphim. Ahoy, my knight! If it ain't the dead fire's newest captain, still all shiny and sleek. Surprised to see this salty old barnacle's itched a ride on your own. The other Orlin's eyes search you, her hands rest casually upon her hips. Typical, Molnage. Can't match my skill, so you try to spew shit. Aww. Boy. When you're as old as me, your skill will still be naught more than the untrained fumbling of an Adiran maid to the refined workings of my mind. Alright. What brings you here, Malnai? When you insult Seraphim, you insult me? Are you, are you too dumb posturing? I have better things to do, exactly. I've heard about your run-ins with Captains Benweth and Ferrante. Meeting the old Principe, he seems like. Almost makes a girl green. The envy of missing the party. Well, you didn't miss much. Most of the party was a lot of people dying. She grins, her mouth filled with sharp yellow teeth. I'm tracking a man by the name of Romaro. Traitor to the cause. Romaro ain't no traitor, you mind-blind sack of squid squirts. Romaro? Seraphine grow growls, fists tight and fur... Wrestling, you feel the anger coil around him and spill outward, and your vision begins to swim. It's not gonna work, I have a terrible resolve. Fight against it! A sharp strike against your cheek, and 
your head bits uh, wood hard. The wet of something rolling down the back of your scalp, clumping in your fur, and Malnai standing over you. Fists bald, flesh like thunder and copper in your mouth. Then an old man, eyes equal parts kindness and rage, hauling her back, shouting her down, turning to you, leaning in, the rage fleeing. The anger slides past and your vision resolves into the Nekataka street. Captain, there'll be a bounty of some 4,000 pounds on Romaro, quick or dead. I'd be willing to cut you a tenth of that, here and now, if you give me any knowledge you might have stumbled across on your travels. We think Romaro was here to meet someone named Udin. Who's Remaro? I don't know. We heard Remaro on his way to Port Maya. <laughs> we think Remaro was here to meet someone named Udin. I need to consult my notes. I forgot who Remaro is. God damn it. Um, he went to Port Maya. Seraphim blinks at you, then spits out some other invents, invectives to sell the live. Okay, sure. Grinning, Monai plucks a purse from her belt and tosses it to you. She chuckles. Apologies, Seraphim. Seems your trust were misplaced. Thank you kindly, Captain. If this tip ends up worth a damn, I'll be the first raising your name up the main mast. Aye! It turns out you shitted me. I'll be back for the coin and your shit besides. She snaps a salute, turns on her heel and walks away. <laughs> hey. That's a good tip. Don't blame me for uh, your incompetence. Uh, let's go to the sacred stair. That's where we were going. <laughs> well, Mal Knight, rest in peace. So she said that there's a 4,000 copper bounty for someone. That means there's like a... At least a 20,000 copper bounty. Because why would you say that? Because she would know that I would want more of it. Probably half. <laughs> then I was like, she was like, begrudgingly say like, okay, you can have half of 4,000, actually 20,000. Come on. I know how this goes. Because, well, th these bounty missions are, are very much encourage you to be a bit of a... Fighter, maybe an assassin. I think assassin would be a more correct way to put it. Not, not like these games. In these games, like you can really uh, get away I'm without so sure fighting. I you. What am I thinking right now? No wait, <laughs> now. Me? It don't work that way, lass. I pick up on feelings, see fragments of memories sometimes. Impressions. And mostly when folks are upset or a bit of nerve. Unless I'm trying to intrude. And I generally try not to intrude. You intruded on me the moment we met. Ah, that were an accident. If anything, you be the one that were intruding on me. Oh, well, you could take a gander if you wanted. I mean, not all the time. Just this once. As you wish, lass. Seraphon looks up at Soti with an uncommonly serious impression. His eyes seem to drill into her. Then suddenly he jerks his head away and blinks like his eyes are burning. So which is it? Light or dark? What do you see? Neither, lass. Bounced off you like a bullet off an ironclad. So he shrugs and walks away. Seraphim watches, hand rubbing the back of his head. Anything I should know about? Mayhaps. Let me be ruminating on it for a tick, Captain. He sighs and turns away. So, he saw dark. Very, very dark. Wait. Where do we find this person we need to murder? We don't know. Those are not the ones. 
Apparently that person we are coming to murder is near the stairs. Ah, oh, Catran, hey, you wanna die? Bleeding me dry. All I needed was a few damn components. Die. Oh, not this again. There's a dozen of you fools in every city. <laughs> oh, the construct is with us. This thing isn't doing the job. Oh boy. Captain is dead. Wow. I don't want to do any AOE here. What do I do? Uh, disintegrate. Does it work? This thing is in the job. Let's go. It doesn't seem to work. What happened to Seraphin? Where's Seraphin in the first place? Quick, toss me something else. Don't need that. Oh, I see him. Something else. After him. This thing isn't doing the job. Yeah, let's do a disintegrate on that guy. Does it work? The missed, didn't it? What does it check against? Fortitude? Oh boy. No! Don't heal the constructive possible. Can't make it. No can do. This thing isn't doing the job. Is this immune to any kind of damage? No. Only no. no. fraud. Oh, only uh, a fire. I mean. Let me just do a uh, consecration. Heal everybody all the time. Oh, this actually heals the construct, which is not ideal. Can't make a dent. This thing isn't doing the job. Hey, construct, you want to die? No penetration. Wow, that sucks. Let's go. No penetration again. After him. You better not this piss off the city folk, the iron clad construct. Need something stronger. This thing dies so slowly. Is there a quick way to take it out? It has low mind and reflex saves, but high fortitude and deflection. Exceptional medium armor. That's all we got. Also, we can use this exit to go to the Serpent Crown, Serpent Crown thingy, uh, part of town. But apparently we need to kill someone over here as well. Which... Uh, we don't know where he is, or she is. Lady Apera, apparently. Oh. Probably to sheep. I don't know how I feel about these side missions that much. Because this is just purely killing, right? I might just choose to ignore it. At least part of it. Or don't really go out of my way to do it. I suppose it can be somewhat... Uh, well, not not truly compared to, but like somewhat compared to like... Uh, missions like... Uh, to like radiant missions and... Uh, I mean, like Bethesda games, like those are not really high quality missions, they are just uh, um, kind of act as fillers. Oh, what? Lady Arati? Is Remember, that you? A pet How is she called? Lady Apparel, right. 
Also, it's night now. So we're gonna wait till morning. I don't know where we're gonna find Lady Apparel. Lady Apparel's estate. Well, but that was easy. <laughs> I think I looted this place already. And I think she wasn't inside. Not sure when we looted it. Hopefully she's at home right now. For what do you enter my home uninvited? This is my estate, not a beachside hut. I'm here for the bunty in your head. You invite this information so freely. Is it your first time? Nope. I just want to skip the... Hey! Oh, I'm gonna intimidate you into... Not sure what. I seem to be a pretty popular among the you folk. Mercenary wizard. Real boss familiar. Oh, they're coming in. Terrify them. Oh, oh they're terrified. We can also do a chain lighting on them. Our freezing pillar. Freezing pillar is just insane. Say your prayers. Come on. See that you can nail that freezing pillar. It's gonna hit like hell. Oh. oh. And that just keeps hitting. I got it. May I be a that one makes it extremely powerful. Alright. Lady Apparel. What a sad day. Intellect. White leaf of the rest. Alright, let's go. So, unfortunately we couldn't get a map. And um, all we need to do is just uh, sail out. Sail away. And do more missions outside the map. And we can't really check out the war map, but, but that's what we want to do. We want to sail away. I also go back to... Dunnage. We still have a... Uh, well, we want to return some bounties, I suppose. So we're gonna... Well, do we need to supply? I don't know. How are we doing with repair supplies? Other ingredients? No. Ship items? No. Food and drink? No. No. Where are the med medicines? Medicines? Murder fringe? Repair thingies? It's, it's a shame that you can't search, I believe. So I don't think it's ingredients. I think it's an other. That, that seems most logical to me. But I don't see it in other. Maybe it doesn't even show up in this inventory. Maybe it only shows up in the ship inventory. Don't see it. I don't know what to make of it. Cheap equipment and cargo. Maybe it's already loaded in, right? And it doesn't show up in the inventory unless we have an extra stack. Uh, that's the... That's what I could think of. Oh, discount on items! So we can buy a better ship, but we don't want to. <laughs> repair supplies, that's what we want. We're gonna buy some repair supplies because we're surely gonna need that. Uh, medical supplies, sure, why not? Mostly repair supplies. Damn, that's pricey. Anyway, so we're gonna check right now. 
Does it show up in other? No, it doesn't add. It doesn't. Where are the ship supplies? Ship management? I still don't see it. Yeah, whatever. We probably have enough. So, let's sail out of this bloody city. We've seen enough, clearly. It's time to leave. And explore the world. And plunder ships. I do like the sailing part of it. Maybe I'm not gonna book some bunties that much. And we gotta go back to Dunnage. Actually, we have to watch out for one guy. One guy really hates our, our ass. Some uh, Valian guy. That fire merchant. Unaffiliated. Maybe it's not gonna go that good for you, that well for you. That fire merchant. Unaffiliated means you can just attack it, like no problem. And it doesn't piss off anybody apparently. Anyway guys, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you next time.